Hi Queens, how are you doing today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful and great day. If you are new here, hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. My name is LaKendra, the name of my channel is All Things Lux, a channel that is dedicated to fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Um, my channel focuses on luxury, uh, unboxings, reviews, a little bit of skincare, shopping vlogs, traveling vlogs, um, just all of that. Fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you like those type of videos, then I'd ask that you consider subscribing if you stick around and you do like my content. Also, I'd ask that you share this channel with a friend, let her know or him know what we have going on over here at the Lux Fam. Also, comment please. Just say, hey, I would love to have dialogue with you guys in the comments. So today, oh, and for my returning Lux fam, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for always tuning back in, for your continued support. I love you guys to pieces. Seriously. Today, what am I talking about? As promised, I am sharing what I have been purchasing over the last several months. Everything a luxury. If this is something that interests you, just stick around. Today, as I said, I'm sharing what I have been purchasing lately. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should be. I share a lot more there. I do outfit of the days, trying to do a little bit more of those. Um, and if I'm out shopping, I post what I'm looking at in my stories. So if you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram for all of my updates. All right. So, um, I said that to say what, okay. So if you do follow me on Instagram, Get it together, Kendra. Come on back in. Wind it back in. You have seen these things, some of these things that I have purchased. So it won't be a surprise for you, but we'll just be talking about them today. All right. So first thing is let's go over ready to wear. I have purchased a few pieces. Um, first, let's start with Loewe. I didn't have anything Loewe, and um, I have seen other YouTubers wear them, and their sweatshirts look nice, their sweaters look nice, but I'm going to tell y'all what made me fall in love with Loewe pieces. If you watch power okay the second edition of okay, after ghost is dead where Tariq is is just acting a fool with his little bad self anyway the professor at the school that he was going to wore a lot of Loewe pieces and they looked so good on her they just looked so elegant just they was, to me, just giving what they're supposed to give. If you do not watch Power, the second edition, the fashion, Mary J, K, 
Kane, they bring the fashion. I love watching that show just to see the fashion. Just to see the fashion. So I started seeing that she wore a lot of Loewe pieces. And so it just kind of made me get more into it. And I just decided to pull the cord on a few items that I was feeling. So the first thing. Let me show you guys. And if you, as I said, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. I did a reel of this beautiful sweater. I love this sweater. It has all kinds of different colors in it. I, in my opinion, it's a nice transitional piece from winter to spring here in Texas currently like we have uh, cold like cold uh, like mornings in like the 50s or the 60s and then it warms up so I wore this over the weekend in the morning out to out to uh, like brunch and it was appropriate. I didn't have to put on a jacket or anything. Just this nice sweater. Love the quality of it. I picked this up in a medium. And it fits perfect. I love it. I can see having this for years and years to come. Another Loewe piece. And excuse uh, the noise, it came in this little plastic bag and after I tried it on, I put it back in here because it kind of sheds on my uh, like bra. After I had pulled it off, I had mohair wool all over it. I have seen these in purple, that green, a uh, pink, and then I saw this turquoise one, and I thought it was so pretty. It looks really good on my skin. Um, I picked this up in a medium. It fits me perfect. The only thing, y'all, <laughs> this neck hole is so freaking small I I was like okay well do I have a big head of what I never considered to have a big head of myself myself a big head but I had to work and work and inch and inch and I didn't want to ruin the sweater but I got it on girl it was rough but <laughs> I got it on I was like oh no you're not gonna do this to me. I am determined that I'm gonna put this on. So after I worked it around my head, it fit perfectly. So I can't wait to wear this. I I considered this to be a transitional piece as well, something I could wear still. I am a I'm a cold natured person. I always take a jacket with me if I'm in the restaurant. I'm always going to take a jacket in the summer. I want to wear long sleeves. So for me, it was, I thought it was appropriate that I could still like buy this, even though like we're like, like kind of, you know, transitioning. If you can see, you can see my hands or the holes in it. Let's see if you can see that. So it is airy. And I think it will be just fine. Um, it gives me spring vibes, Easter vibes, all of that. Um, I can't wait to put this on with something. Next, and see, it's getting stuff on my other sweater, so. That is how much it does shed. It does shed a lot. Okay. 
Next, let me put this over here. I have been watching this uh, designer for a little bit of time now. net porte has his things on their website. He's a black fashion designer, which I love, love to support. And there has been a few pieces that I have been looking at. Um, didn't know there was a dress that was kind of in this same sweater material. And I was thinking, oh, it might be getting a little bit too late for that. But I picked up this beautiful sweater by Christopher John Rogers. Let me show you. He is a fashion designer out of Louisiana. He loves color, presents it very, very well, so pretty. Um, I love this piece, love all the colors, gives me spring vibes. You can put a lot with this. It's got a lot of colors that you can put with this. So I picked this up. It's also, I would consider this a transitional piece. All right. And hopefully I will wear this soon. I have had this, I don't know, probably some weeks now. And I just haven't pulled it out yet, but I'm going to have to pull this out. So what do you guys think of that? What do you think of his things? Uh, does anyone have any of his pieces? Do you like them? If you do, let me know. Leave comments, please. Okay. Next, let's do... Um, Okay, so I checked off one thing, or no, I checked off a few things on my 2022 wish list. So let's talk about one here. Um, I had shared uh, with you guys that I was interested in more fine jewelry in specific VCA, okay, Van Cleef and Arpels. My client advisor from Christian Dior went to Van Cleef. He actually helped open it up and he told me months before he got it open, oh, I'm, uh, I want you to follow me over to Van Cleef. Uh, they have, you know, some beautiful things I like to bring you in when the boutique opens and share with you. And so I put that off until January because they opened up in like October of last year. So January I went in and I fell in love with a few pieces. So let's see what I picked up. Here's uh, the box, okay? And inside the box is another box. Anyone who knows Van Cleef knows this pretty green color and also the box. So what I picked up, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. I posted when I was in there shopping on my stories and I've taken a few pictures with this piece on. I picked up the La Hombre 5 motif guiche bracelet. Um and I hope I said that right. Let's pull it out. Here it is. I love this piece. I think it's so pretty. 
Um, love the gold, the sheen luster on this is so gorgeous. I will uh, include a pic of it on my wrist, okay, or a, a video, let's see. And I did have this adjusted. They took out two, and it's not links or chains or something, I don't know. But two equals four, how he explained it, or I guess how I have heard it explained. But it fits my wrist perfectly. And it still does kind of slide. I, I don't like uh, to have a bracelet that's just sliding up, you know, like up and down, like my wrist too much. And I have a rope uh, I got last year. And I really should like have a little bit more taken off of it because it slides up and down my wrist and it kind of drives me crazy. So with this one, I wanted it to fit me perfectly and it does. They also include uh, the links or whatever they call these that they take out. And I have, let's see if you can see those. And I have these here if I want to have them added if I gain weight or something like that. But I love this piece. I would also like to get the five motif in the mother of pearl and add this as a little stack of the VCA items that I own. So this is something that I, I did check off of my wish list. Really excited about this purchase. Um, this bracelet is hard to come by. Very, very hard to come by. It's always sold out online and um, there's usually a waiting list. So I went in in uh, January. He had one that day. He said he had just gotten it. I didn't want it then. I said, well, let me kind of think about it, decide what I'm going to do. I um, reached out to him in February, told him that I wanted it, and I had it in March. So that was really, really good. So very excited about this piece. Next, let's go to Hermes. Oh, one more thing guys, ready to wear that I did forget about. I picked up this Fendi item. These are shorts. They are the Carligraphy brand style, whatever you want to say. Um, I saw these, actually I saw these in the boutique and I wanted them, but I was like, hmm. So I found these on Satire at a good price and so I picked them up. I think that I could wear these in the fall, winter, spring. I wear them in the summer too, don't matter to me. Now they are a wool material, but I don't care as much as I spend on them. I will wear them whenever. So, um, haven't worn them yet, but I did pick these up as well. Like I said, these are the shorts. Love the darting on them. I'll show you the back and the front. They're high-waisted, which I love. Very, very flattering on the body. Okay, so I think that was all ready to wear. I didn't want to forget about that. So now, back to Hermes. So, besides 
checking this off of my wish list. I received the call in March. Or was it the end of February? It was the end of February, March. I received a call from my client advisor at Hermes that he had a bag for me, a special bag. It was a color that I had told him that I wanted. And um, I said, I'm coming to get it. <laughs> so I took a day trip, went, picked up my bag. While I was there, I did pick up more things. So I will share what I did pick up. My bag, if you have not seen it, if you follow me on Instagram, it's on there. So you can go and see my bag. It's a 25 Kelly or Kelly 25 in the color Capucine. And it is just the cutest little thing ever. The greatest, sweetest pop of color and so appropriate for spring. I was so honored that they offered it to me. And um, yes, just, I was over the moon excited. So let's open up box number one. And in this box, You guys seen you know what size it is it is a belt okay um oh, I didn't, this is my first time opening this stuff up so this is very cute so it is a Kelly belt let me take off this we got this tied on here let me show y'all there we go this one is tied. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, this is so cute. <laughs> All right, so here's the belt, and I picked it up. Um, I, I still have the plastic on here, so that might be why I cannot. close it but here's the belt what's cool about this belt is it adjusts to you you can make it shorter or you can make it longer okay um which is really really nice it's adjustable i picked this up in the color etoop um why why I picked it up in a tube is because I have a Kelly 28 that I acquired in December and it matches my bag perfectly so I wanted a belt to match it and this is it so I um, haven't worn it yet as as obvious it was still in the box but i plan on wearing this with my bag and um it'll be a look let's put this here next i picked up Here's the next thing I picked up. It is a scarf. This gorgeous scarf. I picked this scarf up because it matches my new bag, my pop of color bag. It has 
this color orange in it and this is so cute okay let me open it up all the way so you can see it i plan on wearing this as a top okay Ow. i love it i love the color we kind of put things against my skin to see what popped and what was flattering on my skin and we both agreed that this was gorgeous and my bag matches so it'll be a look i love that it has blues yellows it pink it kind of checks off a lot of the colors so i'm excited about this piece can't wait to wear Okay, move this out the way. Next is shoes. I cannot go to Hermes and not pick up shoes. I love their shoes. I was like, oh my gosh, how many pairs of shoes do I have now? <laughs> um, I picked up, first let me show you guys my clogs that I picked up. I've already worn these so some of you have already seen these I love a good clog if it's pretty so these are the and I don't want to I don't want to lie and say what they are called, but they look like the Kelly bag, so I call them the Kelly cloths, but that is not the real name. <laughs> it's not the real name, but I call them the Kelly cloths. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. Here they are. Let me take off the protective covering so you can see them. There we go. Here they are. Can you see these? They are very comfortable. I love them. I picked these up in a 39. They fit perfect. He had put aside for me a 40 for some reason because in my uh in the orange sandals i'm a 39 and a half so he said that these they didn't have half sizes so he went up to 40. um i put on the 40 and i did not like how they looked at my feet they were too big and i was like is there any way you have a 39 you have a 39 he said yeah i put one aside because I wasn't sure what you needed. So I said, bring them out, please bring them out. So he brought these out and they fit perfect. And I love them. I can see wearing these just to throw on. I've already worn them as I said. They didn't rub my toes or anything. This is a nice shoe guys. So clogs are in this year they are in they are a nice casual comfortable shoe if you're interested or thinking about them they have them on the website as well too um but i picked these up in the boutique last thing and just get into these so these are another pair of orange sandals can you guess what color I got so I have these currently 
in white and that was my very first pair that I purchased several years ago um, and they still look great and I I have had those at least three years and they still look good so they wear pretty pretty good so I have them in white I have them in black I have them in gold I have them in a brown or a, I'm sorry not brown gold and denim combo which was like a limited edition I have them in yellow now so that's five pairs this pair I saw these in the boutique and I was like oh I have to have those they're so cute I picked them up in this rose color pink rose can you see that is it kind of washing out a little bit I don't know So, if I had have known that I would be offered a bag in the orange family, I would have picked them up in orange in December when I was there. But I didn't know. I didn't have ESP. So now, I desperately want the orange poppy color. I told him, I said, if they come back and stop, please put them aside for me, please. So he was like, okay, girl. <laughs> so I love these. Can't wait to wear them. They're the perfect pop of color and such a pretty pink. I just think they're gorgeous. So that's every, no, it's not everything I miss. There's something else I picked up. I must have already taken it. All right, hold on one second. I'll be right back because I'm missing another box that I picked up. All right, Queens, I apologize. I actually have two more things I need to share with you guys. Two more things. I don't know. I, I still had uh, these things in the box, and somehow when I pulled them out, I just didn't see these last two things. So let's go over these really quick. First thing is, isn't this box so cute? Isn't it so cute, guys? This little box. All right, so in this box, is, and it's in this little pouch. It is a scarf ring, okay? So I thought since I, had the scarf that I was going to try to wear as a top that I would be better off and more secure if when I secured it or I tied it that I had a scarf ring. So I chose this one. I think it's pretty simple to use. I'm going to watch uh, some like, YouTube videos on all kinds of different ways to tie scarves especially if you're going to wear them as a top so that was one of the things I got last thing from Hermes and when I was in the boutique in December I picked up these gorgeous sterling silver earrings that I love they're very comfortable lightweight you don't even feel like you are wearing anything in your ears. I love them. So I thought, well, why not pick up another pair of earrings since I had such good experience with, oh, hold on, let me do this so I can see. That. Such a good experience with the first pair. So here, they are, uh, hold on, they came out of the box, so let me put them in so you can see them. 
Mm. Okay. Here they are. I got the, and I don't know what they're called. To look on the website to see if they're on the website still. The lock earrings. Ooh, they fell. All right, so the lock earrings, and you can, how they work is you attach the lock on the hook here, and they also have a brown, so you can either wear these separately or you can wear them together, and how that works and they won't stay in the box my goodness is let me pull out the brown one you see it has a flat side if you can see that and then this is brown has a flat side you would hook them or put them together like this and then you would wear them like that Can you see that and here's what the top looks like let me stick those in there so you can see Here they are. Okay. So a nice simple earring, but I think it makes a subtle statement and either you know what they are or you don't. It's it's okay, but I I love them and since I had something silver, I wanted something gold. So here we are. Okay, that was everything from Hermes. So from Hermes, I picked up a bag, two pairs of shoes, a scarf, a scarf ring, and some earrings. Okay, there are two other things that I picked up that are not featured in this video, um, first would be the Chanel heart bag that I shared with you guys last week. I have worn it. I'm going to put out a what fits in this in that bag soon. I was able to wear it, use it. I love the bag. I think it's a great addition to my collection. Um, and I'm excited about that. So if you didn't see that video, I will link it in the cards. Go back and watch that video. Another thing that I have picked up from that same collection, Chanel 22C, is the white platform sandals. They are white with black logo. I will post a pic so you can see them. A little story uh, behind these is I reserved these with my Bloomingdale's essay about two months ago. And I mean, like anything else I, I reserve, I just wait. But it just seemed a little bit longer than usual. So I started asking him about them. I'm like, have you heard anything? I mean, every a couple of days or like once a week, I say, hey, what's going on with the you know, like with the sandals, with the, and he was like, I don't know. He said, you know, I mean, one is coming in at a time, like your size hasn't come in. So I was like, okay. Trying to give him, you know, the benefit of uh, the doubt and also the business. I didn't want to uh, uh, try to go out and, you know, find him somewhere else. Um, I, I was like, okay. And so I sent him a text because I was starting to see 
Neiman's uh, essays, they was also posting pics. And so I said, hey, okay, what's the, you know, ETA on the sandals? Because Neiman's is already posting pics that, that uh, theirs are coming soon. He was like, I don't know. He said, but he said, if you can get your hands on them, I would, I would suggest you go ahead and do it. I'm, I'm okay because he said the resellers are uh, gonna try to, I mean, like snap these up and, um, and I, I really don't like know like what's going on like with our shipments. So I would hate for you to uh, be waiting on, you know, me if you could have got them somewhere else. And so I was like, okay. So I reached out to one of my Neiman's essays. He said he would put me on his list. And so then I reached out to my Chanel ad, um, advisor and I asked him, I said, well, y'all be getting these? And he was like, uh, yeah, let me look into it. So he looked into it and he said, uh, look, he said, my manager said that that you can uh, like you can prepay for them and it will secure you a pair when they come they will automatically ship to you said so, okay let's do it and uh, uh, so that's what I did and just waiting on these sandals what's up Chanel what is going on with the platform is there manufacturing issues what's going on with them I want my shoes. I want my shoes. They'll go so good with my heart bag. So anyways, that's the story for that. Like I said, I will post a pic of these beautiful shoes and can't wait to get them. Okay, the last few things that I picked up is sunglasses. Y'all know how I, I am about sunglasses. I get weak in the knees for sunglasses. I love sunglasses. They complete your look. Even if you're looking kind of plain, put on some earrings and some nice sunnies and it's a look, okay? So since I had picked up Loewe things, I really wanted these specific sunglasses, so I picked these up. Here's what the case looks like. Okay. And the sunglasses are nice, simple, but they're oversized. Love how on the lens you can see your eyes. I'm getting kind of more into sunglasses where you can see my eyes or you can because you can see my lashes, they're popping and I want you to be able to see my eyes as well. So these have the Loewe symbol on them. Let me put them on for you. I've already worn these. I wore these with my Loewe sweater in my reel. What do you guys think of these? I think they are. Look, I like them on my face. To me, I'm giving Diane Carroll, honey. Diane Carroll from Dynasty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I really, really like these. What do you guys think? All right, sunglasses, still. I picked up more sunglasses, more sunglasses. So I was out last week and I shared this in my story. So some of you have already seen these. All right, so. To me, Gucci, hands down, makes the best sunnies. They make the best sunglasses. They have all different kinds. They're comfortable. My very first pair of designer 
luxury shades was Gucci and I've had them for at least 10 years and they still do what they supposed to do they do so I always go check out and see what Gucci got going on so went in there last week and saw these and I was like oh those are a little extra and then when she told me the price I was like oh yeah they too extra they too extra honey I was like mm -mm. but then she said well try them on I was like okay girl I will try them on I tried these on and I was like oh I hate you right now I shouldn't have tried these on so here they okay so I picked a different case you guys see I picked this time green because she kind of brought me out a maroonish case and a green case and a blue case I said no and a purple case and I said a girl I got all of those cases you got anything else so she was like yeah I think we got some new ones so anyway this is the color green it's really pretty all right guys look at these shades look at these look at these look at them I was like these are real extra but when I tried them on I have been looking for pink lens with the frame or the hard frame or the gold frame I have some pink Gucci's I picked up last summer and they're hard frame circular they give me that 70s kind of vibe and I like those they're comfortable they're appropriate but I wanted some in this aviator style so don't say nothing I know Girl, don't play with me, honey, baby, don't play with me with these sunglasses. Do you hear me? This shade, this right here, you can either put it to the front or you can put it to the back. This chain is killing something. Killing something. I love that I can wear these inside, outside. I don't have to take them off. This chain is removable, okay? So you don't have to, have to be extra if you don't want to be extra. But if I wear them, I'm being extra, baby. Extra. <laughs> so I had to have these sunglasses. Now the price. Let's discuss that. These is the price on here still? Not on here it isn't. Um these sunglasses. I want to say it was six hundred and forty dollars or six fifty. They were six ish, six ish, mid to high six ish. But I couldn't leave them. I had to get them. I was like, oh gosh. So I picked these up, and these were what I was looking for last year when I picked up those other ones. These were it. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't leave them. I just couldn't leave them. And as I was leaving, she had rang me up. I was leaving and I'm still just kind of looking, looking because Fendi had some too. And I kind of looked at those too, but they wasn't given what these was given. And I was like, I got to go with the Gucci. So as I was leaving, I said, wait a minute, 
I didn't see these. You didn't show these when I said I was looking for, you know, aviator style. And she was like, well, I showed you the Gucci and they're so good. I, I mean, I forgot about these. I was like, okay, let me try them on. Give them here. Let me try them on. So, these are new. She said they just got them. This is a new collection for Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce, baby. She said, oh, these are good, but I didn't think about them because we were looking at the Gucci. I was like, okay, so I got to try these on, girl. So she said, this is a new collection. It has been doing really, really well. And they were priced well for the product. So here's the case. Isn't this case nice, guys? Very nice case. They're in a pouchy, sad little pouchy. All right, girl, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at these. Look at these. Do you see these? These are so extra. I love the lavender lilac lens, the purple lens in them. They're clear. Now, wait till I put them on. Ooh, wee. my goodness these are another look another all the time inside and out look these give me vintage feel they give me Elton John where <laughs> I think these are so sick oh I I mean I fell in love with these probably more than the Gucci. I was like, oh gosh. These were $430, I think. So they were a great price, especially for everything that is, is going on with these sunglasses. I was like, oh baby, this summer I'm gonna be killing something. This is going to complete and jazz up so many looks. I'm going to Vegas to see Usher this summer around my birthday. And I can imagine taking all of these, wearing these during the whole concert, baby, because they are look. <laughs> Most definitely, in my opinion, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And for me, these are a work of art beautiful so Dolce and Gabbana did they thing with these sunglasses they did they thing so they're comfortable they're light and that's all I can ask for and then you giving me the look too oh yes so I said I'm not buying any more sunglasses this year no more <laughs> But I love these. Love the color. Oh, yes. So, Queens. That completes this video. I know it might have been a little long, but I hope I kept your attention and I kept you entertained. If you made it this far and you are new here, you are not subscribed. Or maybe you are not new here. You've been watching my videos, but you are not subscribed. I'd ask that if you like my content and you watch it, that you would please hit that subscribe button 
also the notification bell so that you are notified each and every time that I post a video. You won't be disappointed. We bring good vibes here, good energy here, uplift each other. That's what you'll get here each and every video. Um, for my returning Lux Queens and Kings, love you guys to pieces. Thank you so much for always rocking with your girl. I'm done guys. I have been real extra. I have kept you guys for long enough and I hope everyone stays safe, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.